Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Wednesday. Feels like a hundred and million day because we did so many things this past weekend or this past couple of days during the week with my grandkids. Today my grandkids are gone home and we are gonna get back to it. We are gonna get back to riding and tomorrow, holy heck, tomorrow's gonna be a big day. It is wet and yucky out here. Walk with purpose, little missy. Um, I tell people what your good idea was today. Um, to put the boys out in the morning. In yeah. The grass field. We've been putting them out at night on the grass field and it has not been working for us, has yeah, it? Yeah, morning's a lot better. Yeah. So, uh, they are up to two hours on grass each day. So, Sophie, and this is what we were kind of planning to do in the beginning, was put them out in the morning for two hours and then switch them over into the, into the other field until they get used to eating grass all the time. And uh, yeah, it makes so much more sense. At night, it's been a nightmare going out changing the field and then going out again two hours later. This is gonna be the burnt stuff. I know, I'm wearing these pants that I love and a mouse ate them I'm wearing in the winter. I'm wearing these shorts that I love and I have a mosquito bite. Oh my goodness, come on Miss Mud Puddle. Come on. It's not that day, no need to get dirty today. To the house. And make you an ice cap? No, I have iced tea. Oh, good job Gabby. But I feel more made, motivated to work when you're not here, so shoot. Really? Okay, well, let's put the horses out. Uh, shoot, shoot in charge of Sophie. Oh. Shoot, shoot. She doesn't listen to me. I'm All not right. listening to her. Okay, well, I'm not leaving if you guys are going to fight. We're not. I'm going to do my stuff. This is great because our house is... I'll walk away. You need to do the things that she tells you though because you don't always do your stuff. You just do your exactly. stuff a little. There are two stalls and she's like, one stall, done. Sweet. All right, so let's set rules right now while I'm here. Sophie, I'm doing my stall. You have one stall and then you're in charge of sweeping the hallway. That's so and hallway. putting hay because I have to do water. All right, and hay because Gabby's doing water. She's doing two stalls and water. And he's... I'll do hay, not sweep. I don't like sweep. Okay, you're going to be a better sweeper. How about, so you're going to go throw hay in the field and throw hay for the girls? The girls don't already have hay. You already threw, threw the girls hay? I thought, I thought she meant in the stalls. No, in the field. All right, Miss Negotiator. What do you plan? Then I'll take my sweeping bag. All right, so you do hay and water and she does sweeping. And my stall. And your stall and the grain. That is an easy job. I was supposed to be easy. I don't, I don't like so sweeping. I'm doing stalls, water, and... Sweeping. I'm doing stall. And you're doing all the hay. Chino's here watching the debate. Chew in. Can you guys hear him? I'm going to stick the hay out there because I prefer to do it. Chew in away and listening to us. Licking the wall. I actually really love that idea. I'm so, I appreciate that so much, Gabby, for suggesting it. I have to start um, like, sorting yeah. hay every single day. Like, I, I'm not always down here. Flakes. All right, let's see it. So, okay, let's, let's do it. I'm going to have to put this on top of that. Okay? So that's about a quarter of a bale, that whole thing. Two, three. Okay. This one's a little more. Okay. So we're giving our horses half as much food in the morning because they're going to be on grass for two hours. And let me tell you, they can eat a lot of grass in two hours. Also, we Gross. Oops. Gross. also we need to do uh, lots of bug spray today for them because with the rain, there could be a lot of bugs. I think I've been kicked out, you guys. Like literally kicked out. Uh, I said I'd help take the horses to the field before. I, I take two horses only seven Yeah, she does so take two, two horses. Two. It makes me nervous though. Um, I'm taking Storm and Chino. Storm's great with the door. I'm surprised yeah. Finn was okay with the door. Yeah. And he normally goes out first, Finn. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to go up to the house because I have a lot to do. Our house is a disaster. I'm going to go. Um, Either one way. thing I expect when I come back. Like, okay. What do you expect? I don't have any bacon. Or eggs and toast. Eggs and toast you know it is. You that ham thing that's made? Yeah, ham. You know you fried ham on a frying pan, I want that. You, have, you want ham and eggs? You don't like eggs, you want ham and eggs? Sure. Green, green eggs and ham? Not for me. All right, okay. Nope. All right, I'm going. Hi girls. Oh wait. Wow. Yes. Molly. I don't know where she is. Oh my gosh, Molly. Molly. It is not good because she's been doing this lately. This is the second time this has happened. Molly you're, usually just stays right with Ruby and doesn't go anywhere, but two times now she's run off and run back to the house, laid in the exact same spot and waited for us. 
it's not a good thing though. Thought we had mastered the whole coming down to the barn thing. I think she knows she's in trouble though. Did you get lost? Is that what happened? She's such a different dog because um, we had a couple of times where we've had to tell her no about things. Like we've had to enforce rules, like getting on the couch and she's been really good. But I feel a little bit of sadness whenever you have to enforce rules, kids or dogs, because it seems to take away a little bit of their childhood to me. It has to happen, always has to happen, but it is still a sad thing. should be able to do all the chores and all the stuff on their own but I also believe that why ask somebody to do something that you aren't willing to do yourself if that makes sense I like us doing things together I like the feeling of support that we all have I've seen a lot of kids having to do things like chores and feeling resentful and feeling sad and feeling alone and even though my kids can do it I want to do it with them because I want them to feel that support system while they're young um but Having said that, I actually like the fact that I'm going to be able to get my house clean anytime that they want to do the chores themselves. In homeschool news, today is the day. Today's the day that the girls are building the robot and they decided to do it on Gabby's bed. Gabby, do you want to do it in my room instead and watch TV? Wait, that's not a good schooling move, Mom. But then we can get them faster. But I always like to do stuff while I'm watching TV. What if you watch the educational show? I got plastic. How about we watch um the movie that Gabby likes? The one that I barked with? Grease Gabby. Yeah. It's educational. Yeah. You learn about doctor stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be a doctor when you get older? No. No. Too much work. But well, I like seeing people come in from the ambulance. At least you're honest. Anyway, this is Gabby's room for anybody who has never seen it. And this is Molly's spot in Gabby's room. She sits right at the window, looks out there at the chickens, looks out there to get the fresh air. She knows her name so well. She heard me say Molly. Yes, kissing. Molly's doing super well. She's getting so huge. Huge. So huge. I picked her up today and she's not like a puppy anymore. Like she's like an adolescent. She's definitely, ah, sit. Sit. Well, that was down, but whatever. She <laughs> she is at the terrible two stage. She doesn't sleep as much, so she runs and... No, she sleeps. No, this morning when we came back from the barn, I expected her to sleep, and she did not sleep. She just caused a lot of trouble fighting and wrestling and barking. Oh, my. Her body's so much longer. That second ear is starting to really try and come up now. This is her toy. This is where she hides all her good stuff. It goes far deep inside I know, there. There's like no toys up here. Yeah, where are all your toys? You need to bring them up. Go bring them up. Yeah, we need to bring up some toys I'll for you. I'll go grab some. Water. All right, thanks, Sophie. 
this piece is supposed to come off so that we can put batteries in that. Alright, well let me try. So I just diverted trouble number one. Gabby tried to rip open the battery pack that has already got batteries. It just needs to be charged. Well, still, the, it doesn't show you that there's already batteries in it. It says take off the top and put batteries in it. Okay, so now it's charging. I need the app on my phone. And remember, you have to help she let knew. Sophie. Make sure that Sophie helps. It's All right. Funny. She, this is her favorite thing. We need to get a bigger basket though because she likes to choose toys out of baskets. She's like, I'll just take the alligator. And that. Want any others? And her chicken. Wait, wait, wait. Don't put the basket back up. <laughs> <laughs> what about her carrot? She's Where's looking. Your carrot? Oh, carrot. nothing else. Nothing else good. Oh, there's the carrot. Oh, I'll take my carrot. <laughs> oh, she cuts her. All right, I think that's enough toys. Wait, 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 she wants more. She needs a rope. <laughs> she already has a rope. Now, Sophie, there's no place for you to sit. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'm going to let you happy. Okay. All right, work Mom's together. Here. Sophie, <laughs> Sophie, are you, Sophie, are you going to put the app on your phone as well? That girls even have mood lighting for anybody who is interested. Nice and fresh and cool in here. I think she has enough toys. Yeah, I think she has enough toys. No more toys she for Molly. More. You just saw Gabby's room. A lot of people ask me for room tours. They're pretty basic, pretty simple room. So I'm just gonna show you Sophie's room. This is it. Her room is usually the most messy because she always has a lot of toys in her room, whereas Gabby doesn't so much. Those are some of her ribbons. Um, that's it. This is Sophie's messy room. And then Gabby is right next door. So this is what breakfast ended up being. It turns out that I did not have the ham that I thought I had. So it's eggs and hash browns. Girls have moved to my bed so they can watch TV. The app is really hard. I have faith in you, Gabby. Do not spill it on my bed. Gabby, look, do you want any of those hash browns?
it that you can tell an entire story without words. Just put music and watch what's happening. Ever since we gave the ponies a bath, I've been loving them even more. Like, doesn't she look smooth and sleek and gorgeous? Like that dorsal stripe. I love it. Cutie patootie. So uh, Gabby lost her AirPods. Do you ever have that feeling when there's something in your shoe and then all of a sudden it just feels like a bug and then you start freaking out? Yeah, that just happened to me. All right. So bring it, bring it out and show me what to do. I'm gonna clean our carpets. So uh, Gabby lost her AirPods. I don't know when she lost them, but the other day I noticed they were they were lost. And she said that she lost one AirPod and the case. And I was like, oh man. So she's gonna buy another set and they're really expensive, like especially in Canada. So I spent this entire day, uh, Gabby and Sophie have been building that robotic unicorn. It's still, it's like hours later and there's, she's three quarters of the way done. They're three quarters of the way done. It's a nightmare. But anyway, I spent the entire day cleaning the house looking for her AirPods. She said that the last place she had them was in the bathroom. So I searched the entire bathroom, cleaned everything out, and I found the other AirPod. So now she has two AirPods, just no case to charge them. So then I cleaned underneath every single couch cushion. I pulled out all the couches. I cleaned all there because she loses them there all the time. She said, I cleaned underneath her bed and her chair. I like did her whole floor everywhere, underneath the mattress, anywhere the case could be, not there. Then I looked under my bed. I like, I literally tore the house upside down to help her find it. And then I was like, you know what? We're just gonna have to order a new case. So I looked, up it, I looked it up online, it's $100. And um, you can't buy it at the store that we're at. There are none available in the stores near us. I would have to order it. So then, I was just getting ready to come outside and do some stuff and I cleaned up the car. Lo and behold, I found it. it. Took me the whole day, but I found all her AirPod stuff. We messed up the horse feeding schedule this morning because we fed them grass in the morning. We fed them grass this morning and then we didn't wanna feed them, like just throw them in their field with no food, even though they ate grass for two hours. So we gave them a quarter of like, we gave them a lot less than what they usually have, but that, then that was only at 11 o'clock and usually they don't have lunch till like two o'clock. I try and arrange it so that they're getting fed at steady intervals so there's no time with, you know, no time them just standing around with no food. And they're just standing around with no food now. Look at this pitiful sight. They're all just standing there staring at me. They're like, get me food. Because they're at home, I can like, Give them a little bit more hay now, later in the afternoon, and then give them a little bit less in their stalls at night, if that makes sense. Hopefully it balances all out. The only one who will get as much as he always gets is Chino. Handsome one, and handsome two, and handsome three. They're like, we don't care, just give us the food. Oh, we got plenty of time. Begin it easy, won't cost you a dime. Throw another log onto the fire. Sam fixed the tractor. I actually got to use the power washer for the very first time ever. I power washed this area rug and this one as well. I have one more to do. I am really excited to get it all done, get our house spring clean finished. There's a thunderstorm in the making. Over here it's dark and windy. Over there it's beautiful and sunny. Let's check on Gabby, see how the robot is happening. All right, we are upstairs. Gabby is still watching the exact same show. Oh my gosh, it's almost done. It is gorgeous, and down there we have Miss Ruby. I mean, Miss Molly. Well done, Gabby. It took her the whole entire day to build this robot. She said that the app, you have to build it with an app, that it's not a good app. Made it more difficult. She still wants another one, though. She liked it. Did you like it, Gabby? I like the dragon butter. She likes the dragon better, she said. She's in concentration mode, you guys. If you can't understand her, it's because she's in concentration mode, but that is what we're gonna have. Tomorrow, uh, we'll work on coding and making it move, and you guys can see it. 